The Rhone Highlands are renowned for their beauty. The peak of Rhone Mountain itself rises to a lofty 6,286 feet, making it one of the high points along the Southern Appalachian chain. It nurtures the largest remaining concentration of Southern Appalachian grassy balds, open areas in a sea of trees. The western balds are easy to access via the Appalachian Trail from Carver's Gap. Traveling north will take you to Round Bald, Jane Bald, and Grassy Ridge. Cross a gap and you'll rise onto the rarely visited eastern balds of Big Yellow, Little Hump, and Big Hump Mountains. Each bald is different, unique, and each has a compelling story to tell. One of the things I love about the Rhone is it's not just a treasure trove of biodiversity, it's also loaded with history. When you come here, you're walking in the footsteps of giants. Well, botanical giants. This plant sort of symbolizes that. This is Gray's lily. It was discovered here. Gray's lily is named after a man that was probably the most famous of all American botanists, and it's usually considered to be the father of American botany, Asa Gray. He was a 19th century botanist from Harvard University, and he loved the Rhone. In fact, he called it the finest of eastern mountains. Gray's lily is probably the most charismatic species, and probably also the most emblematic species of grassy balds, and Rhone Mountain in particular. And it's just neat to think that plants like this Gray's lily may be growing only feet away from where they were first discovered by giants like Asa Gray.